Hello and welcome to Adventure Sean, where it's currently 7.20 a.m. on the 24th of January 2021, where I'm hoping this morning to document something pretty special that's happening in my local area. In fact, only 10 minutes away from where I live, this morning at 8 a.m., they're actually demolishing a 600 foot, that's 183 meter tall chimney at an old power station. Uh, now this power station's in Rugeley, it went out of service in 2000, 2016 and they've been gradually removing parts of it over the past few years and then this morning and um, the tallest structure on the site this 600 foot tower is being demolished with a controlled explosion so I thought with it only being local it's about a 10 minute drive away from where I live um, I thought I can have my exercise around there as well because we are um, in lockdown number three at the moment here in the UK um, so of course uh, I'm gonna have a bit of exercise around there as well and have my daily walk uh, and I thought I want to go and see this I've got a document it and share it with you all here on Adventure Sean. So I'm just waiting for the car to defrost because it's a very icy morning. I'm hoping that we're going to be able to see it from the location uh, that I've planned because obviously a lot of roads are all closed off around where the demolition's taking place. I've had a look on Google Maps. I've got a little spot where I think I'm going to be able to go and zoom in with this camera um, and get some great shots of it. Fingers crossed um, as it comes down. So yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing this. Let's get moving. Let's get uh, up there to Rugeley and let's go and see this demolition. Oh, I tell you what, it's a cold one this morning, but I finally managed to de-ice the car, drove up here, only took about 10 minutes or so, and I've made it here to a field, um, just in the village of Colton, which is a couple of miles out of Rugeley. And I figured that this would be my best place to watch the demolition, because if I spin you around this way, you can just see the power station over there. And of course, on this camera, got a really good zoom, so I'm gonna be putting it on this tripod here to keep it nice and still um, so I can zoom in over there. Um, there's actually two other people down at the other end of the field as well, uh, but nobody else around at all. There's about 10 minutes to go until the demolition is supposed to take place. Uh, and luckily, uh, this is the one thing I was worried about, if there was gonna be like any low fog or mist across this area, um, because of course it would really have blocked the view. But um, yeah, we're all good, which is fantastic. So I'm gonna get set up on the tripod. I'll zoom in and we'll get a few shots of it so you can see it. Oh, there's one other person just walking down the field as well but uh, that's the beauty of this you know like no large gathering or anything like that further away um, and of course quite a few of the roads are closed really close to it as well and I thought this would be my perfect vantage point to see this demolition so let's get rigged up here on the tripod and let's get some zoomed in shots so as you can see, all rigged up here on the tripod. Now the chimney, what's gonna be coming down this morning is the huge tower that you can see there. And like I say, it's 600 foot tall, 183 meters. Now, in terms of the diameter of that chimney, 17.6 meters, that's 58 feet. Now it's made from reinforced concrete. Uh, so it's gonna be interesting to see this controlled explosion that's gonna be taking place. And this tower in particular was actually constructed between 2006 and 2008. Now, you might be thinking, what about the four cooling towers that you can see there as well? Well, that's actually another planned demolition later on in 2021. So I'm sure I'll come back and capture that one as well. So it's a waiting game now. There's only a few minutes to go until that scheduled time. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see if it happens dead on eight o'clock or if it's going to be a few minutes earlier, a few minutes later. Um, so yeah, it's going to be really interesting to see. But I'm all rigged up here, nicely zoomed in on the camera. So fingers crossed, we should get some uh, good footage of this coming down. A nice clear conditions for it too, even if it's a bit cold. So it's currently 10 past eight, and as you can see, we're all still here on a cold January morning in the field, waiting for the demolition of this tower at Rugeley Power Station. I've actually just checked, and unfortunately it has been delayed by 30 minutes to 8.30. Uh, but the good news is we can get some uh, more clear views now over towards Rugeley Power Station. So I'm gonna give you a bit of a zoom in now on the tower that's gonna be coming down today, just so we can see it for one final time. It's become a bit of a Staffordshire icon, to be honest, a, a landmark, and zooming in right to the top of it just there. 
Of course, you actually had height beacons on this before as well. Um, so yeah, you could see it from uh, even far away at night because of, of course, it was lit up for aviation to make sure that planes could see it and uh, because of how tall it was. Fun little fact for you, you actually used to be able to see this chimney um, from over at Alton Towers from the top of the corkscrew roller coaster when that still used to be there. So yeah, it's crazy, isn't it really, um, with this tower? You know, it's had quite an impact, especially for people living around in the area here, just driving past it. A lot of people's views from the houses are going to be changing. You know, you think you might have been looking out at this power station for years um, but it's going to be coming down after of course 50 years service this power station um, and the tower being uh, in the latter part of its life but uh, just a little bit more waiting now but I'm sure it's going to be worth it it is getting even colder but you know what um, I'm sure when it does come down we'll get some fantastic views now especially with it clearing Wow, now that was quite a noise, wasn't it? Just the delay of that noise, seeing it explode in the middle and then at the top, and then of course drop down to the ground. But the sound of that was absolutely incredible. Really hope that picked up just as good as it sounded here on the ground in Rugeley. And just like that, a piece of history has gone. The tower is down. And there we go. That, that was fantastic. There's just the noise of that, the power. And even though we're a couple of miles away from the power station, you could really feel it in the ground. But there you go. That was fantastic. Really, really enjoyed seeing that come down. And uh, there you go. Of course, all the rubble falling to the ground. And you can just see that smoke rising up into the air now. And the tower is gone here in Rugeley. Wow. Now I've seen some pretty incredible things over the years from traveling all across the world, but to see something so amazing as that and 10 minutes away from home was fantastic. And I've grown up seeing Rusley Power Station and that tower, like I say, has become a big part of Staffordshire and this area. And to see it go down, it's actually pretty emotional, even though it's only a power station, you might be thinking. But when you're so used to driving past it and seeing it every few days, um, it was certainly uh, quite weird just seeing it come down, but it was amazing. It was well worth getting up on this cold Sunday frosty morning and making my way to Rusley to see that and the noise of it was absolutely phenomenal I can't believe how noisy it was I've never seen a demolition quite like that before and just amazing to see something like that so close to home without having to go far at all was it the perfect place the weather stayed right I thought oh we're gonna get some snow this morning but no it stayed um, just perfect and visibility was great the fact that it was delayed by 30 minutes actually helped um, because it meant that the view cleared up even more and any fog that was in the distance did move away so the footage has come out fantastic and here's a another slow motion look um, at that chimney coming down that 600 foot tall chimney um, from Rusley power station absolutely incredible to see that and how it came down was amazing obviously they ex it kind of exploded inwards which was brilliant to see I've never seen anything quite like that before it's the biggest demolition I've ever seen in my life but um, yeah to see it sort of uh, to stop loads of debris going everywhere it's exploded into the tower and then of course collapsed down but amazing to see the noise of that was phenomenal like I say if you lived um, in Rugeley itself I bet it, you know it was even noisier if you were like watching it from your bedroom window or gardens um, I bet that was absolutely amazing but I uh, know that was well worth getting up to see this morning whenever the cooling towers are going to come down I'll be back here again to come and do another one of these um, there's four cooling towers that are going to be demolished at some point um, in 2021 so I'll come down and do another video like this for you all to enjoy Enjoy, but um, I'm just here now on my way back to Utoxeter at Blithfield Reservoir. Gonna have a little walk around here, get some exercise, get some steps in uh, before heading back home. But there we go. Thanks for joining me for another video here on Adventure Sean. I just can't believe that noise. It was absolutely amazing. 
maybe you were watching the live stream and um, what they actually put on uh, or possibly as well you live locally and actually saw the tower come down comment down below and let me know um, your thoughts and uh, maybe you know you worked at the power station you know people that did I'd love to know because th th it was a very um, you know a, a place in Staffordshire that so many people knew about and Rusey power station could be seen from miles and miles away and now it's just the calling tower standing there's been smaller demolitions that have took place last year and then here we are now with the the large chimney that's gone and up next it's the cooling towers and then it'll be erased from history erased from existence but uh, there we go thanks for joining me for this very special moment something in history especially for people who live in Staffordshire and I really hope that you've uh, enjoyed watching but thanks for joining me here on Adventure Shore and like I said we are in lockdown number three so my original plan was to go out and film lots of different things um, over the course of January lots of um, other local attractions but of course with everything that's going on a lot of things are closed some of the walks and stuff I was going to do we're being advised from not going too far from home this is about my limit to be honest about uh, 10 minutes is about or you really want to be going from home at the moment during this lockdown so um yeah like maximum really so yeah i want to make sure that of course sticking by the rules um, best i can do and uh, let's see what happens as we move into february but yeah not as much as i plan to uh, do in fact i've only filmed one video so far this year on this channel um but you know what i'll try my best to film more as soon as uh, conditions allow it to but i might take you on a couple of really local walks in the next few weeks um, just around the sort of Utoxter area where I'm based so we'll see um, what happens but thanks for joining me and that leaves me with one final thing to say get out there and have your own adventures see you soon